Hello everyone, welcome to the Binding of Isaac, which is not a daily. We're going to random. I have a win streak of minus one. I'm guessing that I lost the previous run, but don't forget we're here to do Angel Rooms, which is going to be definitely helped by the fact we're now playing as Blue Baby. Um, because unless we're very lucky, there's not much chance that we're going to be able to take the first deal with the Devil as Blue Baby in the first place. Because we need to get at least one Spirit Heart in order to do so. We currently have Curse of the Blind. Uh, Curse of the Unknown, of course. Which means that we don't know how much HP we have, but we know how much HP we have. We have three Spirit Hearts. There is a Tinted Rock in this room, which certainly could assist us. But again, we want to be doing... Oh, that was very close. Angel Rooms. The Angel Rooms can give us the three items that we still need to get, although one of the two items is, I believe, available just straight up from Item Rooms, which is the Crown of Light. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Um, oh, got hit. Of course, we can't take red heart damage, so we're guaranteed to get as many of the doors opening as is possible, because there are no red hearts to take damage of. But we need to avoid taking as much damage as we can, because we don't really have the chance to, to get it back, which is a big deal. So I'm going to be shooting all the poop. We don't need to do boss rush. We don't want to do hush. <clears throat> I was going to say we don't need to do hush. I don't want to do hush, let's be honest. Let's tell it like it is. There is a tinted rock right here. I think this will get it. Yes, and it had a fucking chest in it. Uh, yeah, we'll take deck of cards. Deck of cards has given us two of spades. Two of spades could allow us to open that um, particular chest there if we wanted to. Maybe get another bomb out of it to try the other one to actually have some HP in it. Or just maybe give us a straight up upgrade that we don't need to means we don't need to worry about getting our uh, of spades. damage going. Yeah, we got another bomb. That's fine. I mean, defensive is second to offensive, but it's still, you know, useful. Couldn't really get secret room even if it is here, which is a shame. We can now. We've got an extra bomb. It is here. Two keys is actually pretty good. Kind of makes up for the fact that we didn't use the... Uh, the two of spades to the best of our ability, but I think opening that chest was a good idea even if it didn't pay out so well. At least it gave us the bomb to try the other tinted rock, which has given us our other spirit heart. So now we're on what, three and a half, which is not enough to be comfortable taking the deal with the devil, but we also have to still have three and a half spirit hearts ah! at the um, actual deal with the devil. And then we're going to walk out anyway, because we want angel rooms, we want godhead, we want immaculate conception, and we want crown of light. That's why we're here, and once we've done those, we can start thinking about working up an actual streak. I mean, there's no reason not to say, let's have a, an Isaac streak right now, but... Oh, there goes half my spirit heart. So we're back to three. Um, but it's not the focus. The focus is to get 1,001%. If I wanted to streak, as noted previously, I believe, probably would be selective about which characters I played, because I expect that the Lost... In fact, I think it was the Lost run that we lost. <laughs> um, the Lost and, of course, the Keeper are going to be supremely difficult compared to all the other characters. Basically, all the other characters. Blue Baby used to be a thorn in my side, but now that I've beaten everything as a Keeper, certain seem to have gained a certain amount of respect for the game, by which I mean I understand a lot more of it. Uh, as possibly evidenced by recent daily runs, of course not all recent daily runs, we have to be honest. If I could actually hit the enemies, um, I would probably be more comfortable saying that I got the hang of this game, but apparently I am incapable of <laughs> getting the shot to hit, which is a fairly large target, let's be fair. Mostly because I'm scared of actually being hit. I'd like to keep as much of this HP as possible. Blue Baby, the Blue Baby. Blue Baby is a sort of keeper light you can't take conventional HP, <clears throat> but you can take Spirit Hearts, and of course you can get items that allow you to take conventional HP as Spirit Hearts, e.g. Dark Bum. Whereas a Keeper, you just don't get conventional HP, you get Flies instead. It's daunting, help, let me out. And of course, dodging is still required. But it's not as bad as sort of a lost light where you just can't get hit at all. You can <clears throat> get hit somewhat, much like the keeper, you can get hit. 
on the other hand, if you do get hit, it doesn't count as uh, red heart damage, so you're much more likely to be able to get a blue baby run that has deals with the devil than a keeper run that has deals with the devil, because... Ow. That actually hurt. I didn't think that would hurt. That's, that's bizarre. That's supremely bizarre. Of course, we can't take the deal with the devil anyway, because we're not going to it, but... It's still prohibitively expensive. But if you do well... Stars card. That can take us to the item room, so we should. It'll save us a key. Uh, yeah, let's take fucking soy milk. Brilliant. So we're doing a soy milk. Uh, do you know what? Let's actually take soy milk. I have no morals. I am an unethical, hateful beast who will take soy milk on a blue baby run because he doesn't know what's good for him. <coughs> and hope that all the enemies kill themselves because I am now incapable of doing it myself. Does they? Yeah. Where are all these chests coming from? Not that I'm salty about it. It's just a bit odd. Let's take this. There's a Dagar's rune, which cures us of a curse, which we don't have right now. But besides curing us of a curse, it gives us a spirit heart. So if this deal with the devil is actually one of the only ones that I would ever take instead of trying to get my godhead run, I can. Provided I don't get hit by monster. But what we can do is we can go down to the next floor and see whether we end up with a curse on it and then take our spirit heart immediately then, rather than using it in the deal with the devil. Um, and, and purging no curse for the end of the floor. This uh, doesn't really give us the main benefit from it. I've got such an itchy nose. It's really doing my head in. Quite literally. It's part of my head, and the rest of my head is upset with my nose. Tempted to cut it off, just to spite my face. If my face would stop itching as a result of the nose upon it, I wouldn't feel spiteful towards it. Man, you can see why people don't take soy milk, but there's so there are very few synergies that work well with soy milk, and I'm hoping to pick up basically any of them. Soy milk Libra, let's have it. You know, our tier fire rate right now is actually higher than I believe it's possible to go without a special item like soy milk. Uh, sure, now we've got a shot speed upgrade as well, and the damage upgrade is helpful. And the Krampus fight is actually helpful as well. It means we don't have to worry about either taking a deal with the devil that we don't want, or, you know, get an angel precedent by giving up a devil item that we really want to. I mean, it means we don't have to worry about deciding whether to take a really good item or not, because there is no really good... Well, there might be. We could get Lump of Coal, which could give us some value. Probably not going to want to take Krampus' head, although it would get us through some rooms. It's not a choice, so that's fine. Krampus' head could have got us through some rooms really easily. We'll go. Um, but I kind of like holding on to the deck of cards here. We've got Curse of the Labyrinth, which is not purged with Dagars, but I want to get the HP. Shot speed upgrade. I'm not sure if that's actually really helping us too much. It will, it will land them quicker, and therefore enemies will be less likely to have moved when they arrive, but hard to imagine that anything else wouldn't be better. I'm so glad that I've got the hang of this room, by the way. I've seen other people do it, and I'm going, how the hell? Judgment. Maybe we'll play that. Did we get a speed upgrade? I feel like we did. Yeah, we got the wooden spoon. It certainly helps us with rooms like that um, trap room there with the spikes in it. It means we can get into position quicker. It also means we can get out of position quicker if an enemy is threatening us. So speed is... Some speed upgrade is a... a Valid, valuable upgrade, but we don't want to go you know, out of control on speed upgrades and have no <laughs> anything else upgrades. So it's actually not doing too badly for us right now, which is probably one of the strangest things you'll ever hear anyone say about Isaac, but there's time. There is time for it to go horribly wrong, and of course soy milk is much less likely to scale as well as anything else with the game. Uh, I don't even want Key Beggar, so I'm not going to even try to take it. Honestly, the only reason you would ever take Key Beggar is if you already had the other two... Uh, key Bum. It's Key Bum. The only reason you would ever take Key Bum is if you had the other two Bums and you wanted to get Super Bum, which is a real thing. Even though it sounds like it's not. One more room for our item charge. I mean, because we hit things with such frequency... 
as long as it can reliably hit things with such frequency, soy milk's pretty good. It's only when we find it difficult to maintain that sort of barrage of machine gun fire on the thing. See, these things are dying just as quickly as I would expect them to in a similar situation with normal tears. We probably want to go in here and maybe use two of diamonds. Uh, we could take starter deck, which I think is actually really good synergy with uh, deck two cards. So we'll take the starter deck as well. Now we have two cards at once, and we got a free card from it, which is a sun card. If you live in Brooklyn, which I do. Uh, we might as well take the other card. To hell with it. The hero fund. Perfect. I'm very glad I picked that up because it was basically two spirit hearts for five cents, which is twice as good as one spirit heart for five cents, which is usually the going rate. So well done, me. All hail. Can't reach that key, alas. Let us continue. It's an XL floor, so there's a second item room somewhere. Going to reduce our chance of getting... It's basically going to skip a deal with the devil if we don't get one. Well, uh, a room. The door's going to skip a... That was pretty dumb. Skip a door, basically. Which is not great, but there's several left, and we're not trying to collect any sort of... Ooh, a joker card. So if we don't get one, we can still get one, which is nice. Um... If we, when you're doing a deal with the devil, you're sort of, you're basically looking for guppy items. It seems to be the way I picture it in my mind anyway. It's not actually true. You know, we're not here because we want to be guppy. But when you go on a devil run, or a run with deals with the devil, it's always in the back of your mind that you want to get the guppy transformation from the deal with the devil, because you can get nine lives and then buy another one. You can get red chests in there. This is very strong sort of guppy connection. Someday we'll find it. Oh, I watched that happen thinking, should I move? And I thought no, and then it's too late. Angel rooms don't really have quite so many... doesn't have quite the, the focus on a synergy, a transformation type synergy like that, so... It doesn't matter that we won't get so many angel rooms because of this. Basically is what I'm trying to say. I would very much like to see a Tinted Rock. So I can use these bombs to some effect. I mean, I don't know if I've been missing them because I haven't had any bombs. That was pretty good. The moon takes us to the secret room, the tower. Use the tower here. Try not to get exploded by these bombs. Didn't get us anything else, but that's okay. The moon will get us out of the curse room. I mean, the Joker card won't, don't forget that. Maybe we should use the sun card? Go into a room, just use the sun card. It's not going to do us any good as a healing thing because we haven't got red hearts. There's the bosses. There's no cursed room so ooh, scared me. So we'll come back and get the joker card. We'll find our second item room which we can see now. We'll get the moon card out just in case we choose to use it. So we're fast enough that I could forget how to do that room, realise which room we're in, re-engage brain to perform room correctly and then continue to perform room correctly. Do I want that? I don't... Uh, let's see what it does. Chrome. Click. Platinumgod.co.uk Where are you? Little box. Little chest. 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 A familiar chest will drop a random pickup every few rooms. So it's like... Um, I guess it's like mystery sack. So no. No, I don't want it. I mean, it could be good. Or we could just take a triple shot soy milk. <coughs> now I look like a garden sprinkler, but that's okay too. Well then, we got out of that very well indeed. Do I want to play that judgment? I mean, I've gone away from it now, so I'm kind of thinking no. There's always a tinted drop here. Game, what are you doing to me? We've already found the secret room as well, so keeping hold of the moon card for the next floor might be a good idea. There's no... Um, curse room on this floor, so getting out of it into the secret room sort of gets us nothing. Two, Two of diamonds we'll just use now. I want to keep the moon card and the joker card, although. Strength card. And we should take it for one boss fight. Strength. Did that have any effect? It made us bigger. Gave us an extra HP, but we can't rely on it because it'll go away again. We are doing a lot of damage. This is soy milk. Have they, have they buffed soy milk? Please say no. But it's always been a sort of a joke item that you take anyway. Oh, that was 
bad. You can't just buff soy milk and expect to get away with it. It's just preposterous. If we don't get a deal with the devil, of course, we can scum one up by using the joker card. <gasps> that would be good. There is a bomb, but we can't reach it. Ah. Uh... This could get us a bomb. Well, it's Gurdy. It's the type of Gurdy that produces enemies, so we can just sort of stand here and shoot. Two of our Slow Milk shots will hit Gurdy. I'm just shooting behind it to see if there's anything there, because <clears throat> it, it does have a... That went really, really fast. How is Soy Milk this good? And we got Magic Mushroom. And now we can use our Joker card to get nothing that we want. That was actually nothing that we want as well, which is hilarious. Totes hilarious. I'm going to see if I can find another coin. Maybe that other coin can get us a bomb. Or actually, now I think about it, just find a bomb. Because it's just a chance of a bomb dropping as a coin, I'm sure. This is an excellent soy milk run, I have to be honest. Coin. No bomb. Well, thanks game, you've made a dick out of me. Let's buy a bomb. I want to do that room. I'm not in a rush. I want to get the best I can out of this entire run, if possible. Which is, of course, possible, because the best I can is the only thing that's possible. We're a bit too fast to do this reliably, so don't try. Oh, you did try. So I'm out with you. Yeah, well done. You fucking lost an HP for doing that. The one you got from Magic Mush. How ungrateful. So instead of buying a bomb, we actually got paid to get a bomb. That's not where that is. There it is. Zoom. Let's, uh, let's try this. I said I wouldn't be coming back this way, but I came back this way trying to find a bomb, and lo and behold... We now have enough money to give it a go. Another key. It's Wheel of Fortune. We'll probably place this next to the chests when we explode the chests. An HP upgrade is not ideal. Well, Blue Baby, obviously, is just a spirit heart. <clears throat> it's not a permanent health upgrade, but... At the same time, having an extra spirit heart from all that is not the worst thing in the world. We'll put the Wheel of Fortune down, we'll blow up both of these. And the best. There's a spirit heart in here. These things fly around the room with soy milk, then. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a great amount of damage. We're sort of sprinkling the room with all these reasonably high damage tears for saying that they're soy milk tears, which is odd. Um, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> no one expects soy milk to be like this good, I guess. It's very chrome. Make sure everything's still recording. Yeah, it is. Moon card will get us out of here. Let's do it. Try not to get hit by spiders like you always do. Angel Room has <clears throat> little of value, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I do believe that a key for each of these, considering how many, keys, how many keys we've got, might actually be worthwhile. I'm also not going to fight the Angel Statue, not least because I obviously have soy milk, which is not my favourite. I like how we're carrying our box of, box of crack jacks. Um, uh, what a waste of a room. It was right here, so we didn't even have to pay to go in. Dagars. Wow, look how much HP we've got. I'm sorry, what? Hangman and Chariot. Might as well bomb our way out of here, because unfortunately, our exit strategy, which was the moon card, actually left us in a position where we couldn't get out. Which is hilarious. But our deck of cards is ready to go again. Judgment. Sure. This is a... Uh, let's forget something better than HP. I mean, having the extra spirit heart is not that bad. We do have full HP somehow. Yeah, that's actually really good. For only a few cents. That was actually cheaper than you would buy it for. For only a few cents, uh, blue magic is really helpful. I didn't realise there was one of those left. I was very lucky not to get hit by it. The fool card gets us out of something. Let's take the hangman and see if we can get some sort of ephemeral value out of it. Some value between now and the end of the floor, at least until we come back to that Fool card. We've got the Fool and the Hangman. I mean the Chariot card. The reason I'm thinking is... Uh, no, I just want the bombs for it. Um, I'm just considering that maybe we want to do something with the Chariot card that would normally cost us a lot of HP, which is fairly precious resources, Blue Baby, especially if you're going to do things like that. Let's clear some space here. These things are just falling apart under my under the wrath of my soy milk extravaganza. Triple shot soy milk extravaganza. 
That's nice. Yeah. Bonus black heart there. Please. That out of the way. Dude. Nothing will stand before me. That bum would be nice, but we'd have to go for a deal with the devil to do that. I'm surprised. I was thinking, oh god, not a blue baby run, plus the fact we have to try and, you know, oh, that's very nice. Plus the fact we have to try and get angel room, so we're not going to be getting strength from the deal with the devil. Because we're not going to be taking him. Plus the fact we didn't get strength from the deal with the devil, because I've all been shit. Nor did we really get much from the deal with the angel, because it was only an eternal heart and a bunch of HP, like, spirit hearts, which is great for us, being blue baby, but... I'm honestly surprised that this is going so well. We still have full HP. In fact, honestly, if we don't, Answers. you know, lose some HP before the end of this floor, we've wasted one. We have to spend at least one on something sensible. Uh, that's a good start, yeah. Walk backwards into a shot. You're quite capable of tracking with your eyeballs. Hmm. Well, we've done that whole wing of the floor. I know where I'm going, so I don't really know why I'm doing rooms I don't have to do. I guess I don't want to really spend a bomb to avoid a room when we're doing so well, despite having soy milk. I'm now wondering whether I would actually take Libra. Because normally the Libra soy milk thing means all your stats are super good. Because your tier rate is so much higher than it's ever allowed to be. But now I'm like, but... <laughs> our, tier rate, our whole tier is really good. Our whole everything is really good. Now we're immune to curses. Uh, I don't mean the windowing toolkit for, you know, terminal applications. I mean the act of being cursed. Oh, hello. Spiders, thanks. We know where our secret rooms are, so we might as well go to them. Again, not in a rush. Let's explore. Let's make the most out of this run, so we can get some even more sweet-ass stuff. These rooms are just going super quickly. Temperance card. Probably not going to be too valuable to us. Maybe we can get some point points? Some coins out of it? I don't know. What would you do? I guess we use it next to the secret room. We use it here. We get some plays out of it. We've got a bomb. Bomb's alright. That's fanny pack, which we just bought. Yeah, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. The main reason I did that. Great. Uh, we could have used the chariot as well, but... It paid out with its own bomb, so whatever. No, I think I paid out with a bomb from my fanny pack, actually, but still. Main reason I wanted to do that was to get <laughs> Spirit Heart down so that I could get some value out of the Eternal Heart, which is not that great an idea, but it seems like a valuable... It's like a constructive use of HP. But then we got a Spirit Heart anyway, so... <laughs> the game just won't let... Oh, help! Okay, that was unconstructive use of HP, but I actually just panicked. Completely forgot how to play the game, which apparently I've been doing all this time anyway, so... What's new, right? Don't walk into the shots, whatever you do. Just keep dodging. I find Brownie a bit easier to deal with in boss mode than in boss rush. Mostly because you don't have to dodge something else. Look into this, right? Yeah. Um, damage upgrade is okay. Right, we've got our chariot and our full card. Which is kind of what we want. We're not going to make it to boss rush, so there's no point worrying about that. But we can get out of something else, like a curse room or something. Like this one right here. Or we could just not do this boss trap room. Money and spirit heart. I mean, the chariot. I used the wrong one, so I'll just use the other one. <laughs> well done, me. Go into this room anyway. Pretty sure if I come back in here and pick up the spirit heart, I'll be fine. Yep. Bombs. Can't hurt to have a few extra bombs. They could get us out of a scrape or two. Uh, we could try and get that, but actually now I think about it, it's in an awkward position and I'm lazy, so I'm not going to. There is a tinted drop there. Could, uh, could have small rock in it. But even if it doesn't, it's some spirit hearts on the ground for later, if we so need them. We've done really well on spirit hearts in this whole run, and that's kind of surprising because we don't tend to get quite so lucky with spirit hearts. Um, also, I think I've actually played better than I normally would. I'm starting to come around to the idea that soy milk is actually a decent item, which is a weird thing to say. But, in some situations, it would appear Sure. Why don't we use that? Can't get rid of any curse because we can't have any curse. Two of spades. Of spades. We should um should have picked that up first, but never mind. Minor amount of oh, 
minor amount of a uh, an inconsequential amount of in in operable in bad do you know what I mean? It's ever so slightly less than optimal. Everyone, either of these cards. <clears throat> I mean, soy milk's been oddly excellent. I'm wondering if it's changed or if I've changed regards it or what? I don't know. Soy milk talks to me. You're a different person from the one I once knew. Lost protects are actually doing something for once. Picked it up because it was there. Oh, item room, brilliant. I'll uh, just take the item in it, irrespective of what it is. I mean, I've already taken soy milk, what more is going to happen? The Lost Protector actually every now and then does do some value. Take this. Don't really need to buy that. I guess we can take this, there's no reason not to. It's not a daily, so we're not being penalised for spending the money or picking up the item. I mean, literally we are because we still have a score. Let's... Why did you fire in that direction? This is the reason I don't understand you, Ghost. Fucking, apart from the fact you make no sense in the first place. Lost Protector could actually completely clean out this room for us if it's so desired. Yep, there it goes. Oh, now you're over there. Get over there. But you sort of fire in random directions, which is silly. Plenty of bombs. Thank you for giving me the moon card. It's going to get me out of nothing, because even though this run is going really, really well, I've put more time into the rooms and the floors than I probably really benefited from, and therefore I didn't get to boss rush. But, eh, we've got some interesting items anyway. All we need now is piercing shots. Or something similar. Kind of hoping to get a crawl space there. The hearts. Oh, good. Um, piercing shots or death. Uh, death touch is piercing shots, but you know what I mean. A fallen fight would actually go down really well because it means that we could get devil items without devil precedent. Of course, we're on the mom fight, so I don't think we can get one now. I don't know if the fallen can just replace any boss. How did I not get hit there? Lovers, magician, the lovers magician. do nothing. Moon is kind of useless. There is a spirit heart back there. I'm not going to go for it. We've got item in the shop. We'll just go. Man, if you couldn't have stamped a little bit quicker, we'll just pop out when uh, Lost Fire is going past. That'd be great. Look how much damage we're doing to Mom. Look how fast the damage bar is going down. The health bar is going down. That is not a soy milk amount of damage. I must have done this, right? Excuse me? What is this? Not a deal with the devil, though. What are you doing? We'll take the Polaroid. I mean, we're not even on the guppy track, and missing page two is just nil value, as far as I can tell. So, no, I'm not going to take it, and you can't make me. We have a moon card, what are we going to do with it? Dunno. We could not spend this bomb. I guess we could get out of a curse room or another mob trap room, because mob trap rooms are boss trap rooms now. All damage is a full heart of damage, so we could get ourselves out of a scrape. Which is basically why I'm keeping hold of it, but the lover's card, why have I even got it? The lovers. There you guys. There's HP, we might as well use it. Another lover's card, don't care. The go this way. I'm looking for tinted drops in that, like it's going to be any value to me. That was excellent. Uh, you died a lot slower than I anticipated, which is why I walked into you, but kudos for that. A little bit tankier than I expected, and you got me. Fair dude. Absolutely fair play to you. Can't force it at all. Everything's just dying so fast, it's great. Perthrow. Perthrow rune could really help if we get maybe a boss that we don't want to take the item off. E.g. I don't know, really. I mean, any generic item is probably not going to be that great for us. I am looking out for tinted drops in that sort of situation because I could at least reach them, right? And black heart. Ooh, I forgot about these rooms. It's quite nice. Picked up that. Probably not the ideal thing to do. Yeah, kind of hoping for Steven or something like that. One of those larger damage upgrades that gives you a lot of value to a spades is 66 keys. So it was kind of worth coming in here. 
What did we decide that was? Something I don't want, no doubt. I'm gonna trust my past self who was paying attention. I've correctly selected the Perthro Room and the Moon Card. There's our final ticket out of here. I think there's literally nothing else on this floor that can benefit us outside of a daily, which this is not. Let's get rid of these because I don't trust them not to hurt me in bad ways. What was that noise? Don't know. I'm pretty sure that was the release the hounds noise, but the hounds are dead, so. Who poisoned them? It was me. Hounds? I mean, if we're lucky, we can just about hit him with one of our three shots, but we really want to be getting all three in there because. Well, anytime we're not hitting with all three, we might as well have not taken the triple shot. Uh, stupid, but okay. Okay, have this. Thanks for disappearing. Thanks for avoiding the issue entirely. Man, these bombs. I need to stop shooting. Learn to not shoot. It's as simple as that. Yeah, that could be good. The damage is fine. I don't know if the range is any good. Okay, let's go. I mean, we could theoretically get to the hush fight, but I'm not going to try and do it. Not with, even with this soy milk run, I'm still not really happy about it. Could donate. Should have done that for a while, I think. It's probably time to put stuff back in this. I do tend to take money out of it every so often, and we don't really get the opportunity to see it because we mostly do daily runs. Daily runs, obviously, being challenge runs, don't give you the donation machine, so you can't take any money out of it to buy stuff, and it would. It would artificially inflate your score, so <clears throat> looks like we lose 10 points every time we donate one, which is fine. Seriously? You're actually taking this much? I'm down with it, but... There we go. Not going to play the blood bank. Don't really think we need to, to be fair. Well, this is a dead end already. What's happening? What's happening? Ooh, what is this, the 90s? Yeah, it's the 90s. This is Binding of Isaac being played on a 486. An EGA. Probably SVGA by the night. Oh, that one can hit me. I understand. Yo, I'm pretty sure that in the old days, by which I mean in Rebirth, you couldn't get hit in either of those situations. But now all of a sudden you're telling me you can get hit from the top, but not the bottom. I mean, I, I seem to recall that those were correctly positioned so that their first shot. How? Don't ask. Um, wouldn't hit you. You had to stick around and get hit again. Why am I doing this min-maxing? Rules card. Sleeping gatekeepers need to be awakened with a loud sound. Blow up angel statues. Okay, still wondering. I mean, we know where our secret rooms are, so the moon is only an escape card. Perthro rune... What did I even take? I took soy, uh, synth oil, which is actually really good, so I didn't want to use that on the previous one, and there's no item on this floor, so in future, I guess we use our Perthro rune. Well, that, that went quick. I'm happy with that. Uh, we use our Perthro rune on the chest, I guess. So we probably want to go up here, based on the principle that reasonably often the super secret room is near the boss, but that's the only reason I'm going. Could be wrong. Two of hearts does nothing. Stop giving it to me. It is near the cursed room, which we can get into for free, so I shout, because there's no game better than a scummed up game. Push that really well. See that? Pretty proud of that push. That push definitely came to shove. Why am I min-maxing the bombs? Uh, because it's a habit. I was kind of hoping that I would have got... <laughs> Min max of bombs in that situation, but don't fucking even bother going round the place you've already opened. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm glad I came this way. Okay. That's not the boss either. <laughs> well done. Hmm. Hoping occasionally to maybe get something from these golden chests that keep showing up. Or the, the stone chest, in fact. Wow. I confused myself there. Not even worth my time. I mean, maybe if it was... Oh, fine. May, uh, we do have two teleport cards now, so there's kind of no reason not to. Yeah, there was no reason to, to either, though. The so fool. 
I want my Perth Roving back, so now I have to go all the way, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have used the moon card because it was closer. Whatever. We're here. By the time I complained about it, it's resolved. Which is the opposite of BT. This is by the time it's resolved, everyone's a skeleton. Like those cartoons in the Beano. Where things take so long that there's just dust on the skeleton of the people in the cube. Lost Protector. You're unhelpful right now. A hermit. Another teleport card. Wheel of Fortune. We explode. You will die. Magician is okay, but I don't really want it. Nope. That. Let's see if we can find some... Let's see if we can find the damn boss for a start, because this is becoming a little bit outrageous. We have tried our damnedest to find this boss, and it continues to elude us. We've got a judgment card, which is a penny judgment, which we will give all our money to, because even though we donated as much as we possibly could, we still have 50 cents left. Uh... I really want that. I assume they can just pay out with any shop item. Never really considered it that way. So much damage from soy milk. Explain this. How much damage would we, would we be doing if we didn't have soy milk? And would it be sort of a commensurate amount? Because we're doing a lot of damage. Oh yeah, that does that. Uh, because the fire rate is so high. Like... Each individual shot, each individual shot is not doing anything. But I'm not, I'm not doing anything. It all adds up. Is what I'm saying. Um, but we've got a lot of adding ups, so it seems like we're doing a lot of damage. And our DPS is great, like our literal damage per second is fine. But we have to hit all the shots that we aim. Whereas if we didn't have soy milk, we would have probably a similar amount of DPS sort of concentrated over way fewer shots. And of course we'd be suffering because we still probably would have picked up triple shot because you know you have to, it's great. And anyone who doesn't like triple shot is wrong. Provably with science. <gasps> There's Immaculate Conception. I'm so happy. This has turned out extremely, extremely well. So we've got our Perthro card. Uh, we'll take the moon card. It can get us out of the secret room. No, it's into the secret room. It can get us out of the curse room or a um, boss trap room on the next floor. It could just give us another item is what I'm suggesting. Right, that's one of our three. So this has actually turned out really well. Would have been nice to get Crown of Light as well on the same run. Because I think basically a bit of extra damage unless we get hit is super good. And um, it will always be active. There's no way we could have um, l less than full red hearts. Because zero is always full. By the metrics that determine these things. Loki, do you want to teleport over where my actual damage dealing fly is? Because it's the only thing I've got besides my soy milk. You can see now where soy milk starts to fall down when everything's a boss. Like, we were doing okay on those rooms in between where most things were deal with a ball. In fact, this is going pretty well as well. But, oh, you turned into a thing, did you? I think that was a uh, loss. Yeah, actually helping me out there. For some value of help, we have a fortune we'll put here while we blow this up. Fortune. We might be able to just go straight through here and get closer to the actual end of the run. Don't even want to spend a... Hello. Thanks for, thanks for being there. Broke my fall there, uh, sloth. I was diving into the room and you... Somehow managed to be in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. You're a hero. I thought that you must die. You want to throw that? I'm going to say no. I'll uh, I'll do this because it gets as many things. Uh, I just wallop my mic. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Shit, that's crap. Okay, here we are. That's where we want to be, Beverly Hills. Um, these things need to die faster. They will give us a spirit heart back, but also they need to not have hit me in the first place. Ideally, the red chest has value. This is the Isaac fight. We are here. We've made it. Look at me, Mum. I'm on the Isaac fight. Why did I dodge back into that? You might ask. Uh, I might ask. Good. Well done. Move. <laughs> Tried to shoot the bomb, but it wouldn't want to be shot. Wow, okay. Stop taking so much damage. Just chill out. Pay attention to what's happening. You are not, oh. <laughs> you are not doing as much damage as you were. 
or rather you are, but the tankiness of the enemy has greatly increased since the last time you did any damage to anything. Pay a bit more attention, avoid the shots, get in position, stand where you need to stand. You know how to fight this enemy. We can beat it. Oh, that might have been lost fly actually. We can... Yeah, we can stop him doing the flying around part of that phase, which means we are doing more than enough damage with soy milk without Libra. Which is astonishing. I mean, this fight's nearly over. We couldn't have done Hush. It's not even worth entertaining the notion. Uh, and I didn't. In fact, I entertained the notion that you didn't entertain the notion. That was basically my, my mode d'emploi during this run. We didn't do Hush and we've come through it pretty well and we've got one of the three things that we need in order to do well here. We will take this and this. I think I'll re-roll both of these yes. because... Oh god, it's even worse. We're basically doing... Wow, what? Okay, maybe that's awesome? I don't know. Um, I don't really like Loki's horns. And we're firing so often and I'm holding down the button to such an extent I'm going to forget that I'm going to be pooping all over myself. Oh shit, what? That was really weird, but it works out, so I guess I'm okay with it. Look at this shit, though. That's a lot of damage. Monster Damage Not Baby has actually turned out to be a really good item. I mean, I kind of knew it was. I felt like it was, anyway. It just blows, so whatever. Ten bombs, brilliant. That was worth the one bomb investment, I guess. Like, literally worth it, but not. Pay attention. Not, uh, not actually worth it in terms of time. It cost me more time than I think I got back in value. Chest. Nope, that's coins. And bombs. Man, look at it. We've lost protector as well. Out of control. Now we've got a golden key, so there's no point collecting all those keys forever. Please. Most of dimensional baby, I need you to follow me a little bit more vigilantly. Because you are causing me to do insane amounts of damage. Even though I was already doing insane amount of damage in terms of you know, <laughs> non libra soy milk. Ah, uh, shit. What's happening? Stay still. Don't move. <laughs> Somehow, that all works fine. I assume the shape of these shots, the, the style of these shots, is entirely because of the fact that we have um, Mom's contacts helping out. Be careful. Though. We need to try and stay in the same place for long enough to get multi-dimensional baby to do something, but not so long that we get stuck being shot at too much. Play like that. Because obviously multi-dimensional baby is the majority of our HP, uh, of our damage right now. At least it's a significant increase in damage. But it's not that good at the cost of, you know, taking so much damage that you don't survive the fight. Oh, there's a shot coming in and I didn't pay attention to it, which is silly. I've got such an itchy nose! I might have to stop and sort of scratch the heck out of it. But we're nearly done, so just chill out. I've just done the daily and I've had, um, had Dry Baby. And it's so nice to just sort of hang out behind Dry Baby and let all the shots come in and then every now and then it just causes damage to happen to everything, which is kind of a, a double whammy as far as the enemies are concerned, I'm sure. But from my perspective, it makes fights like this way easier and you can get used to it. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. That was a great run. I really enjoyed having a Libra run, uh, not a Libra run, a Soy run, Soy run milk that didn't contain Libra, but now it's fine that we have but two spaces, one here which is Godhead, and one here, which is Crown of Light. So thank you for watching, we're one third of the way there, and when we are there, probably time to start streaking, which everybody loves. See you next time.